Welcome back to the channel everyone. Welcome back to the homestead. Today we're in our garden and we are going to be talking about wood ash and using it in your garden. Both the benefits and the dangers. So stay with us. All right, let's look what we got out of our wood stove this morning, this beautiful wood ash. Now, essentially it's potash or potassium, but it's got some chunks of charcoal in it. That's also beneficial for your garden, and we'll talk about that another time. But they've done some scientific studies on this ash and found that it contains 12 out of 15 of the nutrients that your garden plants need. That is amazing. It contains very high levels of obviously potassium, that's the most, but also calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus, all highly beneficial for your garden. Once you start using wood ash in your garden, you're going to see some amazing results. Now, wood ash will help your fruits and veggies both to be healthier, tastier, sweeter, and more pest resistant. Why? Because those beneficial nutrients are in there that are strengthening the cell wall. So those are all really great reasons for using wood ash in your garden. But we have to be careful of one thing. But before we tell you about that one thing, we want to send you down below the video to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and the little notification bell. We want you here with our family on a permanent basis. All right, let's get to it. So what is that one thing we're talking about that is a danger in adding wood ash to your garden? It is that it is incredibly alkaline and you're going to need one of these to test your garden before putting any wood ash in there. This is a pH meter and we will link to one of these in our Amazon store in the description down below. But you're going to need it and you're going to need to test your soil before putting any of this in your garden because you should not add any wood ash to your garden if your pH is 6.5 or above. It will harm the plants and here's how. The wood ash will add so many nutrients to the soil in, in that alkaline state that it will prevent your fruits and vegetables from taking up any more nutrients, causing them to be weaker in the long run, more disease uh, prone and pest prone to getting eaten by pests. And that's why we don't want to add too much of it, if any at all. So first things first, check your soil. Now we recommend that you only add wood ash one time per year in your garden and a thin layer. Now, if you're dealing with really acidic soils, then you may be able to increase that. But you're gonna need to obviously continue to monitor the soil and check the soil so that you can find out that pH and where that pH is going. So there's another danger that I didn't mention and we're going to add it around our garlic here. You just want to give it a thin, just a thin sprinkling. That's all you really need to do. We're going to add it around our garlic and garlic has no problem and loves that potassium from the wood ash. It's got no issue with a, it takes a neutral soil, just like that. Just sprinkle it around. You don't even have to work it at the end of the soil. And here's why. We are going to water this in when we're done here. We're going to water it in and that is going to cause it to be more soluble for the plants to immediately take it up. Take up that phosphorus and, or the, uh, sorry, the <laughs> potassium. Um, so we're going to water that in and that's essentially all you need to do to get uh, this wood ash or this good nutrient or these good 12 out of 15 nutrients into your garden. Wait a second, should we add this around the spinach? The answer is yes, because spinach likes a uh, neutral or alkaline soil and it loves the potassium from the wood ash, no problem. However, 
The second danger point is adding wood ash to plants that like an acidic soil. So you do not want to add wood ash anywhere near, say, a blueberry plant. I've got some blueberries over there and they need a very acidic soil to grow well. So do your research on what fruits and veggies that you're adding the wood ash to and stay away from anything that likes an acidic soil. So this is our sweet potato patch after that nasty freeze we talked about in one of our recent videos. A sweet potato or also just regular potatoes is another place you do not want to add wood ash. Lastly, I want to talk about storage of your wood ash. Now, we have had maybe five fires in our wood, little wood stove in our house, and we got maybe a quarter of a five gallon bucket of wood ash. And that is going to be plenty for our garden for the next year. Our garden's not very big. In the coming years, as it grows, we'll need a little bit more. But like I said, we use it sparingly because of our soil type. Now, if you have an outdoor fire pit, you're going to want to get that wood ash out of there once it's burned as quickly as possible. And here's why. If it rains on it at all, it's going to leach all those nutrients down into the soil and you're going to lose the benefit of having them contained within the ash, the pot ash or wood ash. So get them out of your outdoor fire pit and we put them, or we take ours from our inside, but we want you to put them in a five gallon bucket, store it in a dry place, cover it up if necessary, if you've got some animals that might get into it, uh, but store it in a dry place and it will retain its nutrients for use in the future. So like we said before, we want you here on a permanent basis, so don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button. We also want you to go visit us on countrylivingexperience.com where our blog is and our tool store, and always look for our recommended tools in our Amazon store link in the description below. We thank you. We want to see you next week on our next video, which comes out every Tuesday, by the way. Have a great day, and we'll see you next week. Bye.